Hawthorne captain, Luke Hodge. We're a happy team at Hawthorne. Jeez, you've been hearing that song all this season. Yes, it's been uh, been quite good, and obviously Friday night wasn't a uh, it was a pretty high intensity game. We we just got over the line. West Coast uh, brought in about six or seven of their their uh, probably more senior players, and uh, it was a good battle. Nick Nat's pretty great to watch, isn't he? He knew he, he well he pretty much got knocked out in the first half. Still came back to take a screamer in the in the second half. Jeez, it's impressive. Yeah, he is. He's some of that. You, you're trying to get caught just watching him. Um, he took that. Uh, he grabbed the ball out of the ruck in the goal square, kicked the goal, which not many blokes will be able to do. And <laughs> you sit back after you play him and think, geez, there's three or four things that he does every week that you just go, it's, it's a fair effort. That goal in the goal square, it was a little bit like no one's thought of that before. <laughs> like you saw him just bring it down from the ruck, throw it straight on the boot and through, and you're like. Oh, yeah, that's what we should do. Yeah, yeah. and there was four Hawthorns defenders there going, oh, we probably should have stopped that. Stop that. <laughs> yeah, like standing that. on the line. Yeah. Hey, Hodgie, before we get stuck into the game too much, we do have some uh, some business with Nova's very own Dave Hughes, uh, who's normally sitting in this seat right here. You and him had a bet two weeks ago that got settled on before the game on Saturday night. If people didn't tune in, here's what happened. Now, there's, there is some unfinished business, though, uh, if you don't mind me saying. Um, oh, yes, Hodgie, yes. I believe, wasn't there a little bet, Hodgie? that took place between you and Husey? I do believe so. What were the stakes again if Hawthorne won? <laughs> if Hawthorne won, Husey was to get his face painted and I think sing the Hawthorne song at some stage through the, the show tonight. Now, you of course won that bet. Yes. You boys did get up. You also put a bit of uh, injury to... <laughs> to insult, you took out the, the, the Carlton skipper in something that was completely legal, but ended with uh, Murphy having a fractured cheekbone, yeah. and he's out for a few weeks. I actually thought that he got away with it pretty easy. Well, he got Hughie got his face painted. I thought um, you were saying Murphy. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Jeez. I was talking about Hughie. I was talking about, how, how bad would it have to yeah, be for yeah, him to sing away. the song and get his face painted? I had to jump on a tram down here, and I found out that Sasha was going to get the Carlton Cheer Squad in the tram while I was singing the song <laughs> with face paint. And after what happened with Murphy, I'm not sure if I, I would have left the tram alive. <laughs> <laughs> so we, um, but no, it was, it was good on Saturday night. Husey, uh, he was wasn't very motivated singing the song anyway. How much did you love painting his face? Yeah, no, it was yeah, a bit of fun. Yeah, it was. He, he was he wasn't a fan of it. You tell he was trying to play along with, it, but he was pretty filthy. <laughs> I think you can tell in the tone that he wasn't too motivated singing the song. We're a happy team at Hawthorne. We're the mighty fighting hawks. We love our team and we play to win, breaking our opponents' faces. <laughs> With a grin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, comedian, not a singer. Yeah. <laughs> that line wasn't in the song. <laughs> hey, uh, we have plenty to talk to you about. You guys absolutely flying along at the moment. 11 on the trot. If you get up this week against Brisbane, this is a club record. Yeah, I think it was 1961. Yep. I think it was the last time I think I've seen in the paper or was yeah, put over the weekend. So... Look, uh, Brisbane obviously getting off a get, coming off a big win against Geelong yesterday, so it should be a, a good game down at Tassie. Nice, warm Tassie. One of the upsets of the season, easily. We've got plenty to talk to you about. Luke Hodge, stick around. Yep. Tommy Little, Nova One Hundred. Oh, Hawks skipper Luke Hodge. You guys are sitting pretty on top of the ladder. You're a game clear now. Yes. Uh, big upset last night. Did you watch the game? Uh, I did not. Got uh, got a phone call from uncle so he flicked it over to the footy channel um, so I didn't see the last I think it was uh, Tommy Hawkins having the, having the set shot kicked oh. a point um, and then yeah Brisbane took it down and Ash McGrath kicked the goal so how did the Cats not stop that because they only had 15 seconds Merritt takes the final mark in the goal square Geelong surely should have been uh, up to that even when Josh Hunt took the mark with 45 seconds to go yeah, I think there was a, a play going down the wing where uh, Joel Sold rolled on and then kicked it to Dawson Simpson yeah Simpson and he handballed over the top I think that if they had their time again they might have pulled it back but it's a uh, things happen that quickly on the field sometimes your, your instincts just take over and that's how Geelong play naturally they just in the last minute, probably shouldn't have, shouldn't have done that. But you can tell how upset he is, um, Tommy. You know, with Geelong <laughs> losing, of course, sitting just behind the Hawks on the ladder, and, and then Frio play Geelong this uh, this oh. weekend. So second v third. So we'll be sitting back watching that, and then we play Geelong the week after. So it's a big couple of weeks in the AFL. You're playing the team that just had the nail biting win. You got Brisbane this week. Uh, you should you should smash them. Yeah, well, they're uh, they're coming down to Tassie, uh, so um, obviously the nice warm weather up in Brisbane <laughs> down to uh, down to down, down, down to Tassie now. So it's uh, it should be uh, should work into our favour. We we play some good footy down there. It's the first game of the season where you'll be playing wearing blankets. <laughs> oh, we play down there a fair bit. So it's uh, the, uh, the night uh, it gets down to 
I think it's about minus one or one degrees overnight regularly down there. So uh, the boys should be used to it. So that'll be Buddy's final visit to Tasmania before he um, <laughs> heads north to GWS. Oh, you've been you, you got to Gunston go into there kicking five goals. You got Roughhead kicking five goals. Buddy just contributed the two. So you're happy to sort of see him off to GWS? No, you? Buddy's uh, Buddy's playing his role. He's uh, he's working with the other playing five. his role. He's, he's working with his other five forwards. If uh, if you've seen what he's done throughout the year, and people look at the goals and say, oh, he hadn't kicked five. He hasn't done his job. We've been very, very happy with how Buddy's been playing. And uh, and if he continues to do that, the other five forwards will be very happy as well. So what do you got him for another 10 or so years? 10 or weeks? so years. Yep. Yeah, 10 or so years. So he'll probably sign a five-year one soon and then uh, and then however long he can go for after that. 12. Oh, you saying weeks. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> yeah. 12 million bucks is the price tag. Yeah, I know is. there's been a lot of talk about it. That's a lot of money. Would, yeah. you, would you jump ship for twelve million? I wouldn't be standing here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be. Uh, I'd be already on the plane. <laughs> Neither would I. <laughs> I. I think that's uh, that's where footy's gone. It's a. Um, I just wish I was a lot younger than what I am now and about another four inches taller. <laughs> Stevie J, he's got a bit of trouble. Pierce Handley ran into. You got off your one where you'd cleaned up uh, Lockie Henderson. How do you reckon Stevie J got the tribunal? Uh, oh, it's so, it. sort of hard to comment on. Um, I've only heard uh, mm. what people have spoken about, so until I actually see the, the incident, you can't really go off it. But, yeah, the, the match review panel will have a look at it. And if he does, hopefully it gets two for us. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I'll, I'll have to go and have a look at it. Can you comment on the Embley knee? Uh, not really. It's, okay. uh, I guess it's something that... Uh, once again, it'll go through. We, we sort of get told that uh, when something happens in a game, you can't really comment it on because you'll, uh, you'll get in trouble and you don't want to get our coach angry. Mel, so you just let it go. I got one you can comment yeah. on, yeah. Mr. Hodge, if I yes, may. Mel. I've got a question. I have this theory when AFL teams travel that they the team who has to come from the furthest place away often don't win. So, for example, if West Coast has to come all the way over here, they're not going to get up, is my theory. Do you reckon there's there's, there's like this weight in that theory, or am I a kook? No, 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 it's a valid point. I think if you look at the, the teams that uh, that won on the weekend, um, mm. Sydney going to Port Adelaide, which no one would have thought that, Geelong travelling up to Brisbane. Yes. Uh, in the past, West Coast and Freo both had issues travelling. Travelling. So, look, I guess it's down to a set routine. I think Collingwood a few years ago have a, uh, just did the same thing every time they travelled, um, which made them bond and they've, they've had a pretty good uh, history when they've travelled so what two lines hold hands hold hands yeah, yeah. You get just, your buddy just, just, stick just, your feel, buddy. just feel real comfortable <laughs> with one another but <laughs> I think it's when we travel also if we go to Perth we try and stay on Melbourne time so it's the same routine every time so uh-huh. it doesn't feel any different but look it's uh, yeah and plus if when you travel on someone else's home ground they know the shape of the ground and it's a mm. lot different uh, all ovals are different sizes. So. Well, let's hope for you guys Mel's theory does have weight because Brisbane travelling down to Tassie, you boys should absolutely tear them apart. Luke Hodge, thanks for joining us. Thanks all for having us me, guys. Weekend. Cheers.